Horizontal uniform circular motion. When a car goes around a curve, there must be a net force towards the center of the circle of which the curve is an arc. If the road is flat, that force is supplied by friction. If the frictional force is insufficient, the car will tend to move more nearly in a straight line. As long as the tires do not slip, the friction is static. If the tires do start to slip, the friction is kinetic, which is bad in two ways. One, the kinetic frictional force is smaller than the static force. And two, the static frictional force can point towards the center of the circle, but the kinetic frictional force opposes the direction of motion, making it very difficult to regain control of the car and to continue around the curve. That's why most cars today come with anti-lock brakes. It is to help the car get back that static friction when it is sliding. So here's a top view of that car going around a circle, and here is a front view. So we know that we have mg down. The force of friction is what's holding it in a circle. And there's a normal force up. So now the acceleration is towards the center of the circle. So the normal force minus mg is equal to zero. Therefore, normal force equals mg. Now in the x-axis, the force of friction is the net force and that is equal to m a. Now the force of friction is mu times the normal force, which is mg, and a is equal to v squared over r. Now we can divide both sides by m, and we get mu g equals v squared over r. Now you can solve for any of these variables, mu, v, or r, 